Hi, Nick Farrow back again with part two of our study of WH questions. Now we are going to look at the more challenging part of the lesson, the simple tenses. See the examples here. They have no be verb and no helping verb. They are in the simple present tense and the simple past tense. It's easier to understand if we start with the past tense. We want to make questions for these sentences. The questions might be, for example, what did they study? How long did you work? When did she meet Billy? And when did she marry him? Now let's look at how this works. OK, let's read the second interview between Joe King and Angela Andrews again, for examples. You will need to pause the video for each page. That's it. I guess Joe will never get his interview, ever. Now, let's highlight the WH forms again. You will see the be verb only, general verbs with helping verbs, and general verbs only. Our focus this time is on the last one. This is page one, and we have two WH questions here. The first is in the simple past. That's our target form. Next page. And here we have three questions in the past. So, at some time in the past, she met her husband somewhere, and he said something to her. Simple general verbs, and those are the questions he asks about. Next. Second question is the simple past tense. And the last question there changes to the simple present tense. They eat party food. It's a general verb. No helping verb. One more page. And there's nothing here for general verbs. No simple present or simple past. So let's move on and see how those questions can be made. Let's see the pattern from an example, starting with a normal sentence. There's no helping verb, but when we make the yes-no question, see how the did comes from the ed? This is now the helping verb. Now, the topic is a time point. It's last night. So the question will be when. Again, the WH comes before the helping verb. Another example, same pattern, also about time. And two more without the yes no stage. And notice again that the ED endings are gone. There are no double past sentences.
Now, here's an interesting example to work with. Let's make the yes-no question first. OK, there it is. And the question there is, what kind of WH questions can we make from this? You need a little imagination to add a variety of possible WH questions. Here are some possibilities. How did she kill her husband? When did she kill her husband? Or maybe, what time did she kill her husband? Where did she kill her husband? And why? What with? What did she kill her husband with? It's also possible to say, with what did she kill her husband, that that's rather old-fashioned. OK, time for some practice. When you make the questions, be sure to focus on the topic of the question, which is in bold letters. For example, the focus of this question is what was eaten, some peanuts. So the question is what? What did you eat? OK, check these. Make them into questions. Pause the video until you are ready and then I will give the answers. Or actually, I'll give the questions. OK, here we go. For the first one, the question could be just, where did you go? But it also could be, what did you do when the restaurant closed? So it could be many things. Here are some suggestions for the other questions. Number two. What did your friends do in the hotel lobby? Three. What did you do at lunchtime? Four. What did he say? Five. How did they come here? Or maybe how did they get here? Number six. Why did she hit him? Or maybe, for example, why did Maria hit Carlos? Number seven. What did she do? Or another possible one is, what did she break? Now let's move to the present tense. Still with general verbs, no be verb, no helping verbs. In the interview, Joe King asked Angela only one question of this type. What do you and your husband like to eat? You will remember from the first lesson that the pattern for the past and the present are the same. We simply change the did helping verb to a do helping verb. Let's see how this works. Looking at our first example, the do verb appears in front of the subject, just like the did appeared in the past tense. But this is only the yes-no form. Then, looking at the focus point in London, we add 
the WH part at the front, same as the past tense. It might help to think of this as a rule, a way of remembering. When there is no be verb and no helping verb, add the do verb for questions and negatives. Here's another example. It's about one person, not you or me, so we need the S or ES. So do becomes does. And then the WH part. Where does Miranda work? Here's another example. Now with a WH phrase. What kind of food? Three more with WH phrases, but these are with helping verbs, like the ones we did before, and they show the same pattern. Okay. Let's do some practice. These are all simple tense sentences, so the questions will need a do or a did helping verb. Maybe you want to check the vocabulary in number 7 and number 8 with a dictionary first. And then I'll give the questions. And here are the best or the most natural questions that you might expect for these answers. Number one, where do you live? Number two, where does he work? Or maybe, for example, where does your brother work? Number three. How often does she study? Number four. What kind of movies do they like? Number five. How much money do you have? Number six. Why do you feel sick? Number seven. Why do you smoke? Number eight. When does she get angry? Let's create some more questions. This is about an office worker called Jasmine. So here are the answers. And you have to figure out some questions. Maybe there's not only one question form, but we'll show you the best answers, the best questions. Stop the video for the exercise. And here are the best question forms. Maybe you can pause the video again to practice them. Now we're going to practice all the forms, starting with be and then helping verbs and later the simple tenses. Be careful to make the right choices. Once you can get this right, you'll be able to communicate on a much higher level. The first three and number seven have only be verbs and the other sentences are using helping verbs. Pause before I give the 
questions. And the questions are, where are they from? Where is Tokyo? How are you? What should I give him? What have they been doing? Where is she waiting? Or maybe that's just, what is she doing? Next one's number seven. How old are you? Number eight. Where are you going? Or where are you going to go? Number nine. Why can't we go to the party? Or why can't you go to the party? Let's move on. More practice coming. Now we've got simple past tense and simple present tense. No helping verbs, so you're going to use the do helping verb or the did, which will be for the past. Pause the video. And the answers are, number one, what did he paint? Two, what did they do? Three, who did they visit? Four, why did she cry? Five, where did they go? Six, what kind of car did he have? Seven, how much money did she have? Eight, where do they live? Nine, where does she work? Ten, what kind of sport do you like? Next, we have some mistakes to correct. First mistakes are with helping verbs. Pause the video and try these. And first there's a hint here. In all these cases, you will have to change the do helping verb to the be helping verb and change the be helping verb to a do helping verb. Uh, some extra points to notice. Number three could have a do helping verb or can with the same meaning. Be careful for number six. It's not really bad grammar, but the meaning is very strange. What kind of food are you like would give an answer. I am like a banana. I'm yellow and sweet. Number seven, be careful. Tired is an adjective. It's not a verb. Okay, try them. And here are the correct forms. Number one, where are you going? Two, how many friends do you have? Three, how many languages do you speak? Four, where did you go yesterday? Five, what did he say to you? Six, what kind of food do you like? Seven, why are you tired? Eight, what time did they arrive yesterday? Now let's fix a variety of mistakes. 
stop the tape until you hear the want to hear the correct forms. Okay, here they are. Which university do they go to? What is he doing? What's your name? Be careful. What is your name? Where do you live? What do you have in your hand? Where did he go yesterday? Or possibly, where was he going? Number seven. What time will you go tomorrow? Or possibly, what time are you going tomorrow? Where does he work? What did you eat? What kind of sports do you like? And a few more. Same process. Pause the tape. Questions. One. Who do you like? When will they arrive? What are you eating? What kind of sport can he play? Why is she crying? How old is he? Where will you go tomorrow? What did you buy in the shop yesterday? Which movie did he watch? Why do Japanese people like sumo? And finally, these are some activities you can do on your own or with groups. Please read these carefully if you want to get involved with these. The second task for sure has to be done with groups of students, maybe three to six. That's all. Thanks for studying with me. Remember to like if you like these lessons and subscribe if you want to hear more. Thank you very much.